Hey there, this is Rod Wilgus, coming to you with some good news this morning. Well, last uh, couple weeks ago, my self-propelled lawnmower, the front wheels, the driver wheels on it, uh, they just run out of spokes on it and uh, it was done. Now I've used that lawnmower mowing fields and really rough patches. So I had to order a couple of new wheels that had the gears that weren't worn out in them. So I got the, the wheels and uh, put them on, replaced the old ones, put them on, went to uh, push the mower and it would not move. The front wheels just would not turn. There was no way I, I couldn't figure out. So I put the lawnmower back in the shed and, and uh, just thought, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna figure this out? And then a little bit later, I thought of uh, YouTube. You know, on YouTube, you can see how to repair things and make things and all sorts of things. So I looked up on YouTube and found out my problem was that each wheel had a big washer and I put it on the outside of the wheel rather than on the inside. So after looking at that, I took the wheels off and moved the washers onto the inside and man it works really good now well that reminded me of uh of life and the bible and uh, i'd like to share with you the verse out of second uh, timothy 3 16 and 17. all scripture is given by inspiration of god and it's profitable for doctrine that's teaching of of how we to live and and teaching uh, who God is and who we are in Christ and just the real facts of life, the truth of doctrine, reproof. And reproof is where we're reading something and God says, that's not right in your life and you need to change that. And so that's when we confess that uh, we're wrong. And uh, then it's next one is correction. It shows us how to correct our ways. So. If our life isn't going well, the Bible has the directions for correction. And the last one is instruction in righteousness. It shows us how to be right. And so when we do that, if we're in the Bible, and uh, what it does is it causes us to know when we're wrong, causes us to know how to fix it, and how to go on right, and we have the confidence because of the doctrine. And when that happens, verse number 17 says that the child of God may be equipped for every good work. And that's when we can do the works that God wants us to do. Now, how do you receive from the Bible? A lot of you know, but some of you may be questioning or just need a, a review on it. The first way is to listen. That's why we encourage you to go to churches that teach the Word of God, the Bible, and teach it correctly, ones that believe in the Bible, and uh, listen to them and your churches. And uh, the other way is that you can listen to good Bible teachers on uh, radio or on uh, television. Also can download some very, very good teaching. The second way is to read it for yourself. And I encourage people that uh, are starting off or want to get more is to find good study Bibles. These will have notes. The notes are not scripture, but they sure help a lot of us to understand the scripture. It's more like, kind of like having a teacher there with you. And the next way is, and you'll know I'll say it, it's memorizing. Memorize scripture so that when you're going through any challenge, that God can reach into the library of your mind and bring out a Bible passage that will help you get through what you're going through and get your way corrected. So the next thing is pray before you do any of this. Pray that God will put his thoughts into your mind as you listen and read. So far, I have never heard audible voice of God, but I do know that much of the time that he will put thoughts into my mind. 
Sometimes when I'm praying about something that I need an answer to or direction, I'll ask him to show me what to do in that particular thing, and I just stop and wait for a few moments. And when the thought that comes to my mind, if it's something that uh, is honorable, if it's something that is not self-centered, if it's something usually that is uh, serving God, then I know that's from Him. So that's my challenge. That's my good news for the day, that, that God's Bible has everything you need to get through this life. Father in heaven, I thank you for each person that's listening to this, and I pray that all of us will go to the Word of God first, because we know that is the only place where we can truly find truth. Bless everyone, in Jesus' name, amen. Good talking to you again. I'll talk back at you soon. Remember, focus on the good news every hour of every day. Until later, bye now.